Barn dancing is a great way to help your mind, body, and spirit. And now, thanks to a growing movement right here in Metro Detroit, more and more people with disabilities are hitting the dance floor. And one local couple's even making a splash overseas. It's today's Living a Better Life. Andrew Downs is an athlete, playing para basketball, disc golf, and tennis over the years. He never let being born with spina bifida slow him down. Now the 23-year-old is adding ballroom dancing to his skills. Foxtrot, cha-cha, vaults, uh, tango, we're going to do a Viennese waltz. The list goes on. Andrew admits he was hesitant at first, but he went to a dance mobility class at Fred Astaire Dance Studios in Bloomfield Hills to see what it was all about. And then I saw Cheryl and uh, Angela Lee and uh, Tamerlan, her partner, dance, and I was like, I could do that. And that was it. The monthly class is Michigan's only wheelchair and amputee ballroom dancing program for adults and children with disabilities. It's free, thanks to funding from the REM Foundation. Metro Detroit has become kind of the mecca of wheelchair dancing here in the United States. Evan Mountain, owner of Fred Astaire Dance Studios of Michigan, says the Paralympic Committee contacted him two years ago wanting a U.S. representative at the World Championships. But there weren't enough U.S. teachers trained in wheelchair dancing. So... Over the last two years, they've sent over a committee to our studio and did a training in the summer and we've been able to grow that program with Fred Astaire. There are now Fred Astaire's all over the United States that are doing dance mobility programs. Andrew says thanks to dancing, he's in better shape, mentally sharper, and more social. This whole culture and just how big it is and how just absolutely legitimate, warming, and welcoming it is. Everybody really trying to encourage you. He and his dance partner, Aubrey Mead, have competed in Las Vegas, Chicago, and Toronto, but they're really excited for what's next. We're going to Germany. We're going to be competing in the World Para Dance Sports Championships. They're the first American couple to represent the U.S. at a world championship in para dance, competing in 10 different dances plus freestyle. Pretty much anything goes, lifts and tricks and turns and dips and all the crazy stuff. Um, and you get to pick the, the music for that. So we're doing a number two, the Pink Panther. <laughs> They can't wait. Every day I'm just thinking to myself, oh my God, I'm going to Germany. And he's ready. He even taught me a few steps. You just go past me. Let me go faster. 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 Me go faster. Yeah, you're good too. No doubt this pair will make us proud. Impressive, right? Andrew and Aubrey compete in Bonn, Germany, November 28th through the 30th. And if you'd like to support them as they raise funds for this trip, we have a link on our website for you. Just designate your donation to Andrew and Aubrey's trip. Now, if you know of somebody who's interested in dance mobility, the classes are once a month at the Fred Astaire Dance Studios of Bloomfield Hills. Again, they're free thanks to the REM Foundation. And we have more information with this story on our website, WXYZ.com.